So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Hao Ting. I'm from uh, Professor Han Ting's group, and today I'm going to talk about our recent paper, which is published, uh, which is posted on the archive yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, it's called "Many Hills in My Brother Zero Moles in the Smith Architecture." Okay. Uh, so first, let me give you an introduction. Uh, so this work is uh, about the topological quantum computation. So the idea of the topological quantum computation is that there's a decoherence issue in the quantum computing, which people consider a very serious challenges of realizing the quantum computation. So the topological quantum computation solved this problem uh, in an elegant way by using fractionalized excitations in the main body system so that the quantum, quantum information is, a, is a stored and manipulated using the uh, uh, fractionalized excitations so that they become more stable uh, under the environments. And uh, these, uh, uh, one of the important building blocks is the fractionalized excitation staging called non abelian statistics. So that uh, you can, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's a building block of the global qubits and the global bits. But then uh, people think about uh, what are the platforms to realize this topological quantum computing. So one of the uh, platform is the uh, uh, Cairo P plus IP with superconductor. So this is a theoretical model with uh, the superconductor order parameter uh, have is Px plus IPY dependence. And uh, in this model, people have found that if you, if you, if you consider a, a vortex of the superconducting order parameter, then you will, be, you will discover a localized quantum particle. And uh, this localized quantum particle is uh, described by a Majorana fermion. And uh, this Majorana fermion, uh, different from the ordinary fermion, they have a gamma dagger equals to gamma means that uh, their own, their anti particle is its own. So, so that uh, they are, they're, they only exist one degree of freedom. And uh, you have proved that when two vortices carry the, the Majorana fermion with the exchange, in my run of premium will occur the high phase shape. Like uh, you have a gamma one, gamma two in the P plus that is another, and if you exchange them, then gamma one becomes gamma two, and gamma two becomes minus two. So this will lead to uh, kind of the non abelian statistics that if you have an uh, n vortices carried n marginal premiums, then you exchange one, two, two, three, two, one, then you have a non abelian uh, relation. Also, uh, there are some alternative. Uh, uh, platforms, uh, which is called the Kitab Spin model. And the Kitab Spin model is the, uh, it has the bound dependent, bound dependent eigen interactions. So this X bound means this two is a spin half. So uh, there is a spin half on each side. And uh, uh, the X bound means the, the interaction is a sigma X, X, SF, FX, and the Y bound and Z bound. So if you consider such a model with, uh, 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 with uh, a magnetic field, then the model will appear back, and then there will be uh, my random fermions and the two vertices. Similarly, the, uh, the location of these two vertices and my random fermions uh, are the same. So uh, they also uh, obey such a non based non linear statistics. Okay. So uh, this is uh, what we are going to find, and uh, there are already some candidate materials like the iridides, using chlorine, and cobaltites, uh, etc. So parallel to the search for 2D platforms to realize the topological quantum computing research also focus on the 1D uh, topological systems to see whether 1D topological systems can realize the uh, topological quantum computing. So one of the most simplest model is called the Kitab chain. So uh, as a Kitab chain, I don't know why the rest is here. Uh, so each J site carries a uh, 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 so this AJ are AJ diagram and AJ are an addition of relational operators for electron and given side. So that's uh, the Kitab chain introduce a uh, uh, so so these are the following terms and this is a superconducting theorem term and then there's a chemical term. So this uh, model is exactly solvable and uh, here there should be a red circle. So if you consider some special parameter sets, for example, when W equals to delta. When, uh, when the third has a superconductor pair with bigger than the dynamic potential, this uh, chain is within the topological phase. That means this red circle, uh, rep these two red dots represent two Majorana fermions, and uh, they actually uh, represent one electron size. So that uh, you can see the Majorana fermion of uh, different electron size, they pair together, leaving 
uh, isolated my mode on the amp. So this is called convertible phase. And when the chemical potential is large, chemical potential means uh, uh, chemical potential coupled with the uh, number of the electron given size, then you can, uh, then uh, this uh, red dots within one electron is broken, so that it becomes a non convertible phase. So people have uh, uh, explored the possibilities of these uh, uh, models and uh, uh, people present, well, maybe we can uh, move them around from you now around the 1B TV superconductor. So uh, theoretical protocols have been proposed. One may have some, uh, all these, uh, all these are electrical voltage. So one can uh, apply the electrical voltage to change the parameter to be the chemical tension. So suppose we uh, change the uh, electrical, uh, electrical voltage, then uh, this part become non topological and this part is topological. So that the edge marginal model can be moved from the boundary of the uh, topological phase to the intersection of non topological and topological phase. We also investigated uh, the minimum uh, of, of the breathing, which is a, which is a breathing rule, is uh, one of the block of the non linear statistics that's using T junctions. So people have a gamma one, gamma two here. So this is a topological phase and this is a non topological phase. Then this gamma one, uh, gamma one, gamma two can be exchanged. By this process. So, all these researches, uh, and also because if you want to uh, uh, explore non linear statistics, uh, you, you will have a, a lot of, of these uh, around terminals so that you can, uh, so, so that they have a non linear relation. So, and uh, if and, uh, you, researchers have studied that if you have uh, all these uh, TV superconducting from your wire network, then you can exchange gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 2, gamma 2, gamma 2, gamma 1. Etc. to have a non linear statistics. So all these researchers have uh, uh, explored the possibility of realizing the TQC using one statistics. So motivated by this research, we are going to look at the KHAB ladder, which is a one-dimensional version of the KHAB spin model. Uh, so we want to know whether there's a, a boundary Marana mode and how we can uh, how we can manipulate them in these uh, spin systems. Okay. So the Kinab ladder is, uh, as you see, we have X bound, Y bound, and Z bound, and the Hamiltonian is uh, the interaction, either interaction between the three halves. And uh, actually, these uh, models can be diagnosed by the linear transformation by uh, writing the sigma plus, the raising operator of the spin, as the creation operator of the Fermi, and uh, times the uh, SJ is the string operator. And this string operator, uh, and the URA uh, drawing angle transformation, as you know, is going to uh, solve uh, the spin system in one D. But here we have another chain, so now we have two chains. How can the drawing angle transformation solve this uh, uh, two chains spin model? Is that because of this Z bound? Because uh, uh, because we have this bound dependence uh, x, y, and z. So when you consider the Z bound, the Z bound will become a local object uh, instead of a non-local object. So suppose uh, so when uh, so we define these uh, uh, Majorana operators so that uh, for each side, for example, J A, the F J A is decomposed to two Majorana operators, gamma and gamma delta, and uh, for each side J B, it's a uh, singular. So if we define these uh, uh, Majorana operators, then we can write the spin problem by this uh, local fermion problem. So this local fermion problem involves uh, the gamma. Talking on the first chain, gamma talking on the second chain, and then we have a KZ interaction involving gamma J A J B, gamma J B, and the gamma two pa J and gamma two. And okay, so oh, I forgot to do the definition. So uh, one can observe that this quantity, I gamma two pa gamma two pa, this uh, we call it DJ, uh, defined on a vertical, defined on each vertical bound. So on each vertical bound, we define gamma two pa. Uh, come to that as a DJ, and we observe that this DJ commutes with the Hamiltonian and with each other. So this means that the Hamiltonian can be diagonalized in different DJ cycles. So, uh, and uh, there's a theorem uh, by Lee, and Lee theorem said that the ground state resides in the uh, high class state. So, the high class means that DJ times DJ plus one is minus one, means that uh, you, you need to choose the DJ sector at plus one minus one, plus one minus one, etc. Uh, to reach the ground state. And so, uh, but that would means two options because 
you, you only have this constraint, dj, dj plus one equals to minus one. You can have plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one, and also minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one. So if dj and minus dj factors have the same spectrum, exactly the same uh, uh, gamma spectrum, and uh, this spectrum is written through a local integral distribution of gamma. <clears throat> So here we uh, here the problem is the uh, dj plus one minus one minus one plus one are degenerate. So if we consider an arbitrary superposition of the two degenerate states, then the Majorana model may annihilate or uh, create or form a complex fermions. So uh, how do we uh, look detect the single Majorana mode? Uh, so to detect the single Majorana mode, uh, one needs to selectively choose one of the dj factors. So uh, here, uh, we propose that uh, uh, the DJ sectors can be uh, selected by the projective measurement of the quantum states, and the pro projective measurement is equivalent to apply the projector, well, the projector on the quantum state to select uh, the uh, desired DJ sectors. And uh, one only need to uh, consider the, for example, type one is on the first bound, is on the first, uh, first vertical bound, then one. Uh, automate, uh, one after applying this operator, one selectively uh, choose one of the two sets so that uh, one fix the DJ sectors. And uh, note that because uh, this DJ sectors is not applied in the local operators uh, as written here. So once the DJ flux is fixed, then one can possibly change the DJ flux. So uh, the operator that can change the DJ flux is a local spin operator. The local spin operator. This is the XX operation on a Y bound. So suppose we have a Y bound, then you apply XX operators on the quantum state, then you can show that you uh, effectively change the DJ of uh, the adjacent, actually change the adjacent DJ operator. So if you apply XX operators on, the, on this Y bound, you, you, you will flip the sign of DJ of these two bonds. Okay, so with the projective measurements and the, uh, the local spin operators, one can. Uh, which any of the DJ sectors. Okay, so after understanding the uh, Z2 flux, then uh, we explore the fit diagrams by fix, uh, when, when we fix the DJ. So when we fix the DJ, we have the four band dispersion because of, uh, because uh, one unit cell is four sub -lattice. And uh, there will be four band. Uh, I know that the UK plus minus uh, with a pi because I'm uh, obtaining the phase diagram of the pi plus. And the dispersion is looking like this. And uh, here is the phase diagram. Uh, and uh, this, uh, the gap closes at these transition lines. And uh, it divided the phase diagram into three phase, which we know have the TFX, NT, and the TY phase. <clears throat> so, uh, how to understand these topological phases is by going through the extreme limits of your parameter. So, for example, in the TX, we can go, we can consider you know, the axis is very, very large. Uh, what was this? Uh, uh, my runner, uh, uh, like my, my runner state. So when the axis is very large, we can see the X bond is very large. Then we have a uh, uh, X my runner mode here and also an X my runner mode. So this is, is we call global phase. And also one can compute the trend number of these bands and you can see the, uh, and then one will obtain the global phase, we will have a non zero trend number. Uh, and for the non topological case, one can compare the limits when Kz is very large. So when Kz is very large, then uh, the Majorana fermion on each bound is coupled together, then leaving no action fermion. <clears throat> so after understanding of the pi flux, there's a possibility because there, uh, we can control the DJ, and uh, there's a possibility of uh, uh, of different DJ sectors. We also explore the phase diagram of the uh, zero flux. So the zero flux is a uh, dj is all equal to plus one. So at this case, one can also diagonalize the Hamiltonian and also the band dispersion, and one can also obtain the phase diagram. One can see uh, one can see the same phase TXTI and the non topological phase, but they have a different transition lines. So this uh, is interesting because when you consider a parameter as to the z, for example, at this region, then you can see at the pi flux, this region is not topological. But in the zero class, this region becomes topological. So this gives us uh, a tool to manipulate the topological nature of the system by tuning the DJ sectors. Okay. Uh, then, after considering the uh, extreme parameter sets in extreme limits, we also want to know how to find my random zero modes 
uh, in that form of model to normally at uh, uh, at general uh, at some arbitrary test parameter. So uh, the technique for understanding this is by uh, writing uh, writing the system in the Heisenberg picture. Heisenberg picture means that your operator is time dependent and your state is time independent. So in this case, one can, using the Heisenberg equation to find, uh, so we suppose gamma A is some linear superposition of uh, gamma J A and gamma B is a linear superposition of of uh, gamma JB. Then one can uh, find the Heisenberg equation of motion. And because we are going to find the Madonna zero mode, because uh, there are three degree of freedom at the edge, so there are zero modes at zero energy, then we are looking at the only to zero. Um, and by using some anti-communication anti relations, one uh, obtain the relations of these uh, uh, coefficients of the linear solution. Then uh, we one can start start with an arbitrary boundary condition. For example, one start with alpha one, bit one, and then obtain all the alpha j and j. And then finally, we also normalize the gamma a and gamma b for j to satisfy uh, the the relation of the Marana term. Okay, so uh, to get to get an insight, what's happening in the topological case? We uh, we diagonalize. Uh, the Majorana problem, Majorana problem problem by fixed uh, DJ centers. So that's the uh, the Hamiltonian will become a matrix uh, interacting with uh, the Majorana uh, problem and uh, we just diagonalize the uh, Hugh matrix and uh, we choose a uh, numerically uh, n equal to 1000. And here is the uh, coefficients also can be understood that the probability of this, of uh, locating isolated Majorana which is the alpha j square and beta j square, we can see a clearly exponentially decay at mode in the topological phase. And here we choose the uh, DJ using the pipe flux and the PS is very large compared to the one. <clears throat> uh, also, despite the numerical simulation, actually these relations uh, between the coefficients are exactly solvable. And one can exactly solve them to see uh, where the exponentially decay of growth happen uh, by, by, by these conditions. And, uh, and the one can also uh, define the topological environment by uh, whether there's a topological decay of the probability of locating a random fermion, and one can find exactly the same phase diagram as uh, as the band dispersion. Okay. So uh, now what's interesting is uh, for a given parameter set. So for a given fixed parameter, Px, for example, equals to one, Px divided by one to five, the y equals to uh, Qi. You have like it is one. Then for fixed uh, uh, parameter, can we, uh, if we have a different uh, flux sectors, uh, high flux on the left, which is the n, supposed to be empty phase, and uh, uh, zero flux on the right, supposed to be TLS phase, can we have a random mode at the intersection of the empty phase and TLS phase? The answer is yes. And here is another numerical simulation of n equals to 1,000. And one can see the pro one can see there's a very large probability at the intersection. Uh, and also can be conceptualized uh, when they when you consider the zero limit, then uh, there's a red uh, marana here, and you can see uh, a large uh, marana at the boundary. That's okay. So this motivates us to possibly manipulate and fuse these marana fermions in these letters. So one can uh, begin by pre preparing a TX or TY phase uh, uh, by so for your for your spin model have uh, these uh, for the TS right if they have these uh, conditions. Then you will have a TS or two right and uh, with two edge uh, marana, what time is it? Um, uh, do I have to finish? Okay, yeah. So TS and two right then we can directly move this uh, down A and uh, then fuse them to a vacuum sector or fermion sector uh, by changing the DJ flux. Okay, and we also discussed the engineer of the potential engineer of the ladder, which, uh, which could be realizing all 2D material. But uh, uh, so, so these red atoms are P5 configuration that have uh, effectively spin half, and we have uh, other uh, uh, spin degree for we can choose other atoms as P6, and other, other uh, spin degree for the frozen, and what perhaps needs some insulating barrier to uh, prevent the charge transfer. So, uh, so by what we did by such potential engineering, we consider a uh, such model because this KZ, KZ bound around the hex, uh, like across the hexagon is weaker than the KZ. So we also consider whether if uh, this KZ bound is a 
uh, replaced by the PC prime, what to do will happen. It turns out that uh, the free cell will shrink uh, by uh, distance of uh, square root of PC prime divided by 50. This means if you have a, a PC prime divided by 50 is uh, 0 0.01, you still have a 0 0.1 uh, width of this uh, uh, region of interest. Okay, and also include the zero plus uh, free cell. Okay, and so, but there are some challenges because uh, when you introduce such engineering, there could be other interactions, uh, other symmetry law interactions that come and the hydrogen interaction, they could not be removed. And uh, also, uh, some researchers have uh, discussed uh, with the uh, Kilabi actor plus the uh, Heisenberg or Gamma interaction, and with a small Heisenberg and Gamma interaction, they are within the same phase. But uh, there is a question of uh, how to identify the Madonna fermion in the presence of uh, other interactions. And also, because we are going to add some insulating barrier to prevent the charge transfer, the insulating barrier may have some uh, uh, D shape of this uh, perfect orthohedral uh, structure. Okay, so uh, here are summary. I we uh, motivated by this research. We explored the Madrona fermion or in the Kitab spin ladder. We obtained different phase diagram for different bus sectors. We identified the Madrona fermion. We explore how to choose the Madrona fermion and uh, move the Madrona fermion. And we also discussed the materialization and the changes. Okay.